All right, so here's the deal. Uh, talk to a few people, and this is what I've come up with. So you would, and I know it's right because they talked with uh, Dr. Shalosk. I don't know how we're supposed to figure this out, but I'm still stuck. So I'm going to show you what I know so far. So mainly, you would just hit here. You just want a single value point. Select that and that only, and hit create. So, this first X value is going to be your EG, and then this is going to be group 6, 7, and 8. Now, what I mean by that is, when looking at your stuff here, to get EG, okay, it's going to be your total here, right? And then it's going to account for each row. So for this one, it's going to be 50 divided by 220 times your EG right here. Okay. And that that is going to give you uh, your X value because we know that when graphing it, it's V versus EG. So that is going to give you your X value, which is what goes in here, this X value, okay? Then when you look at group A, or not group, don't, uh, section 6, 7, and 8, that's going to be A, B, C, D, E, F. So you're going to have 6. You're going to have 6 in E, G, okay? And the way you get that is, is you're going to go through here and you see that each of these are different numbers. So it's always going to be 50 divided by 220 times this number here, your EG number. Okay, and that's going to give you X, EG. Then when you try to get Y, okay, it's going to be, your Y is going to be your average or the best. I took the average of it. So it's going to be the average of each of these right here. So A6 through F6, this, you're going to have six numbers, is going to give you your first column here. Okay? So your rate constant average is going to be A6 rate constant is going to go here and you go through there. Then once you get to seven, you start that over again. So you start another row. Then eight, you start another row. And then I'm going to pull up mine and let you see it. And then you're going to get these numbers. Well, this is where I'm stuck because I have no clue. I don't even. So you're going to get these numbers right here. I don't have a clue. I know we still have to find VMAX. I know on page six, this equation, if you can see it, this equation here is what you use to find number one. But I don't know how to, you got to change this number here. And it's VMAX. It's the 0 .013 change alpha divided by minutes. I don't I don't know which VMAX it is. So if anybody can help me, I helped you get to this point. I From here on, I, I don't know. I'm at loss. So any help would be appreciated. I hope this helps some of y'all as far as getting PRISM going. And by the way, this is the first data. This is your first plot. So we just got to figure out how to do the second plot. And I have no clue. So, and I'm sorry I couldn't be more help. Hope y'all have better luck than I do. Text me, call me or something if you can help me. Thank you.